Hello, welcome to Your Wildlife Questions Answered. I'm India. And I'm Charlotte. So we're here today to discuss the molting season at the end of the breeding season, when we get those scruffy looking birds in our garden. So after the birds finish breeding, they go through a molt. And when birds molt will depend on the species. So birds that have a single brood will start earlier than birds that have multiple broods. The blue tit, they're one of the first birds to start molting. They can take quite a long time, whereas our long distance migrants, they take a lot shorter time to molt. So it's at this time of year when the molting happens that the birds go quiet in our gardens and we get that spike of inquiries from you guys in the general public that's noticed the lack of birds in your garden all of a sudden and start to worry, where have they all gone? Yep, lots of people think that they've disappeared, but it's actually because it takes so much energy for them to molt and a lot of energy for them to fly as well at this point. They are quite vulnerable to predators, so they'll be hiding away. And in comparison, our ducks, our geese and our swans, rather than molting a few feathers at a time, they molt all their flight feathers at once. And because of this, it makes them very vulnerable too. And the drakes that are more colourful within the duck group, they will molt all those colourful feathers at once. And then there's a lot of confusion with the females then, isn't there? Yeah, so people think that the drakes have gone missing and this is called their eclipse plumage. Once they've regrown their flight feathers, then they'll go through another molt and they'll regain all of their colourful feathers as well. And that's usually by about October time. So then you'll be able to ID the, the different species more easily. Now onto those scruffy looking birds with boarding patches. Now this might actually not be to do with molting. This could be feather mites or lice, couldn't it? Yeah, lots of people see them having bold patches on their face. That's because it's really difficult for birds to actually preen in these areas. We get some really unusual photographs come through from the public, don't we? They've got some ones they describe as vultures, like little mini vultures with balded heads and mohawks as well. We get some great photos through and here's a few examples of some of those photos. And what can we do to actually help the birds? A really good thing is to have a bird bath in your garden with fresh water daily, as well as a dirt bath, so a soil patch in the garden that stays well drained and doesn't get wet. And people can even rake the top layer of soil as well, um, just so that it can help them have a dust bath. Yeah, it's a really good point. Keep it nice and dry. So do keep an eye out for those molting birds and balding birds. And send in any photos that you get. We'd love to see them.